it has been quite a long time since we meet last time uh, welcome once again for video tutorial grade 10 information and communication technology so hope you all remember the unit which uh, we started to discuss so we, we, we have been discussing unit number 3 uh, of grade 10 which is number system so number representations right so up to now uh, we have covered so many things almost 90 percentage of that uh, unit has been uh, has been uh, finished so let me take some time to recall what we had on uh, on the previous classes so we we started to we started this unit with the introduction for number systems so we introduced all the most important four number systems I named them as binary number systems, right? Uh, octal number system, decimal number system, as well as hexadecimal number system. Right? Then we turned into conversion. That may be one of the most important sections in this unit. So we were able to convert a number which belongs to one number system into another number system, right? So in fact, we converted uh, 12 things. So in other words, we have finished 12 various conversions because we have four number systems so one has one has to be converted into another so altogether we had 12 conversions uh, in this particular number system right so today we have to start or we have to introduce digits which can be in a num in a specific number right the number may have digits so we will have to introduce some of the some of the special digits available in a particular number Right, so let me take a decimal number, so 105, I take this decimal number 105, as you can see 105 is a number, right, so it can be called a number. This number has three figures, right, there are three figures in this particular number, they are of course digits, so this is a digit. 0 is another digit, even 5 also another digit. So simply this number 105 has 3 digits. Not only this number, this decimal number, right? All the numbers, it may be binary, it may be octal, even it may be hexadecimal. All the number systems have digits, right? So when you take a number which belongs to a particular number system, definitely there are digits. Right. If it is decimal number, you know, these digits, uh, digits are from 0 to 9. If it is binary number, there are only two digits, 1 comma 0. If it is octal number, there may be numbers from 0 to 7. Similarly, if it is hexadecimal number, digits can be from 0 to 9 as well as A to F. Right. We learnt everything. But the reason for taking these things again is to introduce two important digits right? we have to all, yes all of them are digits right but i will take two of them here we have three digits so i will take two of them uh, are a little bit different than the others i will give some priority to two digits right not all the digits so let me explain that so here we have to introduce right? we have to introduce uh, two types of digits they are called most significant digit. This is most significant digit. This is called MSD, right? MSD, which is most significant digit. On the other side, we have another special digit called least significant digit. which is LSD, right? So both MSD, LSD, of course they are digits. But uh, we give some priority or we, we like to call them with special name because they have some uniqueness, right? I will explain. So let's uh, take the MSD and LSD one by one. So I take that example again. Here I have a decimal number 105. As I mentioned earlier, everything, every figure 
in this 105 is the digit, right? So you have 1, you have 0, you have 5. So here, I will take this digit, the, the digit which is placed or which is uh, kept on the right side or right extreme number. Extreme uh, means the one which is uh, placed at the edge or at, at last, right? So it must be, this digit must be right extreme number. So whenever you have a right extreme digit, right? That can be called least significant digit. I will explain, wait. So this here, in, in this example, this number five, which is placed as right extreme is taken as LST. The number which is kept as right, ex, sorry, left extreme number, right? So this is left side here, right side, right? So left extreme, which means the number which is placed on left side uh, is called MSD. So this is here, one is most significant digit. So here five is least significant digit. So the digit which is in the right extreme or right far most end can be taken as least significant digit. The digit which is kept as left extreme or left far most end can be taken as most significant digit. Right. Before, be, before I explain uh, the terms MSD and LSD, let me explain one more thing. So I take another number, let me take 235, right? So let's take this number 235, right? So we all uh, studied in, in our young ages about uh, numbers, about how numbers are formed. It may be a small number, it may be a large number. So we learned uh, the, 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 the way the numbers formed in, in our young ages, right? So hope you remember that we used to form numbers using abacus, right? That is kind of a high, kind of a formation of numbers, forming numbers. So let me uh, recall those things uh, in order to understand these two digits, right? So look here, let, let's understand this uh, number 235. So here if I take an uh, abacus, right? So you know, you may have things. So this one, that last one is called uh, zeros or something. The next next place is called ones. Right, so let's see how this 235 uh, is formed. So we have to take the way uh, which is used for forming 235. So let's take that uh, abacus for understanding this concept. So I take this uh, abacus. So you know that first uh, point or first place is always once, right? So here we have once. Then the second one is always tens. Ones, tens. Then we have uh, what? Uh, hundreds, right? Here we have hundreds. So ones there, tens there, and also we have hundreds, right? So look at the number, it's 235. So how it's, how it's formed? Ones, so this this belongs to one. That that uh, right extreme figure is ones. So five. So you have five ones. Right. So look here. The second position is always tens. So you have three, right? So here you have three because it's ten. So three into ten, thirty. Here you have one. So five into one, five. And then hundreds, 
you have two so two figures so now look here so two he hundred so two hundred so two hundred he thirty right here five this is how two hundred thirty five is is formed right so this is not new right you all study these things in in your uh, low grades right so you all can understand right but the reason for taking this back uh, is to to understand this concept i already mentioned that the right extreme number is lst look at the term least significant digit so that term itself has the meaning right that digit has least importance look at the second uh, the, the other one msd so that word seems to be high high importance right most Im importance digit so that is the meaning so see there is a reason for giving such name okay so all of them are digits right except the, uh, the middle one we we skip the middle one we ignore the middle one but we gave special names for the remaining two digits yes it takes lst because look at them these are ones according to this example you know ones are lst so you know ones are smaller than these values look at the look at the msd so here according to this example msd is 100 so you know hundreds are always higher than ones so when you compare these two here the, the, the things are very simple look at this uh, abacus here you have ones which which is called lsd according to this example here you have hundreds right so you know the value is always higher here that's why the, these digits are called most significant because they give more value these are called least significance because they give least values right so that's why we we have such names so you may wonder why we have such names this is the idea uh, behind right so those right extreme numbers always have less meaning than the ones which are in the right side, uh, sorry left side right so this is msd and lsd or in fact the meaning for msd and lsd but in this uh, unit or in this section yes it is important to understand the meaning of those two words but most importantly you have to identify msd as LS, lsd for a given number it may be a decimal number, it may be a binary or hexadecimal or yes, octal, you know, there are digits. So you have to, or you have the ability to identify both MSD and LSD. So let me take another example. Right, so I'm going to write this. So let me take another one. Right. So here I will write another example. Uh, let's write 735 base 8. 735 base 8. It's an octal number. You have three digits. Any number of digits is possible, but uh, I have uh, I have a number with three digits. Right. So let's identify the LSD first. As I mentioned earlier, LSD should be the right extreme digit. So what is the right extreme digit? That must be 5. So this is LSD, least significant digit. The left extreme number, left uh, far most end number digit should be MSD. So what is the MSD? Here 7 is the MSD. Right? So even if it is a binary number, let, let me take a binary number 1011 one, one, base 2. 1011. One. So here let's identify the LSD. So this is right extreme number, this is least significant digit. So what is MSD? This one, right? This is most significant digit. Right, so it's too easy, right? The way for finding MSD and LSD is same for all the numbers right uh, it, it is same as binary right octal hexadecimal and decimal there is no differences at all but there may be some issues when the number is uh, has uh, decimal points right so if it is a whole number these are whole numbers you don't have any decimal places there decimal points there 
But when you have a number with decimal place, then there may be something to be considered, right? So let me take a number with decimal place. So take a look at this. 105.5, right? 105.5. Yes, it's a decimal number, right? It's a decimal number, but as you can see, there is a decimal point there, right? Let's identify the M uh, LST first. Again, things uh, same. It would be the last one on the right side, right? So, which is one? Which is the one? This one. This is LST. You cannot take this five as LST because that is not the right extreme number, right? So, as I mentioned earlier, right extreme number must be LST. So, even after decimal point, you know, LST is possible because it is right extreme right so here it is LST but when it comes to MSD it would be a left extreme number so what it what it, uh, it would be right it is one this is MSD right so here here also even here also we don't face any problems right it's too easy to identify it looks like the uh, looks like the previous examples right okay but I'll, uh, there may be some issues, right? I take another example here, 105.50, right? So I have another number, 105.50. Yes, it's a decimal number. You have digits. So now let's identify the MSD first, most significant digit. As I mentioned earlier, it is the left extreme digit right because msd i'm talking about msd not lsd so it must be uh, right sorry left extreme number this is msd but now we need to find out or we need to identify the lsd uh, lsd right so here if you follow my instructions so if you follow my explanation previous explanation you may think that it would be zero because I mentioned that LSD is the uh, right extreme number. So what is the right extreme number? Zero, right? So you all may think that it's going to be zero. But it, it, it cannot be zero. I, I will explain because look here. I take another number 105.5. So keep an eye on both examples. Here I have 100. 5.50 here I have 105.5 right so I, I I told you that there may be a there may be a problem in finding LSD right wait we will go here and clarify something right so here what is the MSD this is MSD right this one is MSD because that is the one which is uh, in the left extreme place right okay now let's identify the LSD right we have already identified, I think. So this is LSD. Here there is no issue at all because LSD uh, is uh, the right extreme number. So we, we got it. Right. Now, check these two numbers. 105.50 there. Here 105.5. Are they same in value? They, do they have equal value? Yes, right. According to mathematics, you know, uh, the zero which is uh, which is placed at last after decimal point doesn't have any value, right? So according to mathematics, this zero is useless, right? There is no no value at all. Hundred point hundred five point five zero is equal to what? Hundred hundred five point five. Both are equal, but in this number. Right, we identify this 5 as LST. Right, but in this example, you are trying to identify or you are trying to put this 0 as LST. But my question is, or my doubt is, how can a single number uh, have two different LSTs? This is a single number, right? Values are same. But here, your LST is fine yes that's correct there is no issue at all but here we are trying to trying to take this zero as LSD so how can 
the number, one number, uh, have two different uh, LSTs. That is impossible, right? Because it's it's a single number. Definitely, the LSD is is always single. So now understand that there is an issue, right? So you cannot take this zero as LSD because since this zero doesn't have any value, right? So this is useless, right? According to mathematics, that zero doesn't have any value. So when your zero doesn't have any value, you cannot take that as LSD, right? So that is not LSD. Now you need to check the one which, which is placed before that, right? Because according to the, according to the feature or according to the rule, it, it's going to be right extreme number. But since that zero doesn't have any value, we cannot take it. So we have to check the previous digits, right? Now look here, this five has, has value. So this must be taken, what? Into LSD as a list, right? So this is a this is a more this is a most important point. To identify an LST, you have to go to the right extreme number. There is no issue at all. But we have to double check whether that digit has a value or not, right? Generally, all the digits have value except the zero, last zero. For a, for a whole number, there is no issue because even the last digit has value. For example, if I take these numbers, look here, 100,050, right, 1050. I take this number, 1050. Uh, look here, 1050. Here, this is MSD, right? This is MSD, one is MSD. In this example, this zero would be what? LSD because that zero has value. Look here, I'm, I'm not trying to say that zero never be LSD, right? That is not the point which I'm making. Zero can be LSD, but if it doesn't have any value, it cannot be LSD. But in this example, this zero has value because if it, if it doesn't have value, then it would be 105, right? No, that is 1050. So there, this zero has value. Definitely, it is but LSD. But here in this example, this zero meaningless. There is no value at all. So we cannot take it as LSD. I, I have explained the reason, right? So if you clearly uh, compare these two, then you can identify because they are same numbers. Here, five LSD. If you take zero, zero LSD, then you cannot have two different LSDs for a single number, right? So now you must realize that zero cannot be an LSD, right? Right. So let's take another example because here whenever take whenever we take new examples or different examples, we can easily understand the concept, right? So I take another one. So let me take uh, another similar one to understand, right here, 150.7550. I have uh, quite a long uh, lengthy digit, right, lengthy number. So what about MSD? MSD, it's very simple, right? So here, this is MSD. What about LSD? The right extreme number. So what is the right extreme number? Zero. So as we discussed just now, the zero which is placed at last after decimal point is meaningless, right? There is no value at all. So you cannot take this zero as elastic, right? So let's move to the previous one and take it as elastic, right? So here it's going to be five as elastic, right? Because this zero doesn't have any value. Right? Let's take another one. 11.500. Right? 11.500. Again, finding the MSD is too simple. Which one? This one, right? Left extreme number is most significant digit. Of course, one is MSD. But to find that LSD, you need to check your right extreme digit. So what is the right extreme digit? This one, right? This, this zero is right extreme number. But again, that doesn't have any value, right? So you cannot take it as LSD. 
leave it and check the previous digit. Look here, even the previous digit also zero, right? So even that zero doesn't have any value. You know, 11.500 always equal to 11.5. These two zeros never have values, right? So even this zero cannot be taken as LST. So what about LST here? Again, have to check the previous digit. So look here, the previous digit is 5. So now it can be taken as LST, right? So this is how we identify MSTs and LST, right? I take another example, right? So let me take another one. So here I have 0 0.0516. Right. Listen to me carefully because this is something different than the previous example. Yes, it is a number with decimal point, but it seems to be different than the other one. So 0 0.0516. So in this example, it's too easy to identify the LST. Here we don't have any problems with finding LST. In the previous examples, we were not facing any problems with finding MST, right? But here, there is no difficulties in finding LST. So right extreme digit should be LST. So what is the right extreme digit? This is right. So here it is LST because that 6 has a value. So we, we give uh, importance, right? So that is LST. So what about MST? Left extreme digit. So according to this example, the left extreme digit would be 0. Right, this zero. Look here, you may think that zero is the MST, but I have to mention one, one rule or one important aspect here uh, in terms of MST. Whether a digit has values or not, right? If it is zero, whether it, that zero has value or not, zero never be MST. I repeat it, assume you have zero as MST, whether it has value or not, right? There is no issue. MST never be zero, right? So now look here. This zero, you may think that it is going to be zero, but zero never be MST, right? So it is not MST. So since it is not MST, we have to go to the next digit, which means the digit which is placed after this, right? So it's going to be this one because this is the first digit. It, it cannot be taken as MSD, so I have to check the second digit. So this is the second digit. Again here, look here, this is a zero. Does it have value? Yes, it has value. Look here, this zero has value. If it doesn't have value, then your number would be 0 0.516. You know, 0 0.0516 is always ah, different than 0 0.516, right? So this zero has value. But again, I tell you that zero never be what MSD. So in this example, you cannot take this zero as MSD. So skip that, leave that and check the next one, right? So now look here, this five is not zero. It has value. So definitely it is MSD. Have you understood? So there may be some things to be considered when it comes to LST and when it comes to MSD. So what is the thing which I mentioned about identifying LSD? See, both these issues are occurred when you have a number with decimal point. If there is a whole number, right, there is no issue. Right extreme LSD, left extreme MSD. But you may have some issues when your number is a, dec uh, is a number with decimal point. So when a number is decimal placed, there is a thing to be considered in terms of LSD. What is it? You have to check the LSD, right? And if it is zero, check the value, right? If that zero has value, take it as, a, as LSD. If that zero is meaningless, if that zero doesn't have any value, leave it and take the uh, one which, is, which comes first, right? Again, if it is MSD, you have to check the left side, left extreme, but again, make sure that is going is it's not going to be zero right if that if that digit is zero you never take it as MST even 
if it has values right so take another example right so i take another example look here 0.0 Zero five five zero. I I try to give some different digits uh, in order to introduce different ideas. Actually, I have introduced all the ideas. There is no idea, no no technique to be introduced. But when you have different numbers, it would be easy to understand the whole thing, right? So look look here. You have problems in both ends. Right, even in LSD, finding LSD, you need to be careful. At the same time, when when you want to find the MSD, try to be careful. Right. So here, what is the LSD? Check the LSD. Right extreme digit. This is the right extreme digit. But look here, this zero doesn't have value because it's a number with decimal point. So this cannot be LSD. So check the previous digit. So it is five. So definitely it has value. So that can be taken as LSD, right? So let's find out the MSD. So the left extreme digit should be MSD. So according to the according to the rule or according to the description, it's going to be zero. But minutes ago I told you that zero will never be never be MSD, right? So here it cannot be MSD. Go to the next digit and check it. Yes, that is also zero. Yes, that has value, but it it never be uh, MSD. So leave it. And check the next digit. Again, that is zero. That has value, never be MSD. Leave it. Go to the next digit. Look at that. That is five, right? Yes, that has a value. So this must be MSD. Okay. So here this five. Is taken as LSD. The five which comes first is MSD. This cannot be. This zero cannot be LSD because that doesn't have value. These three zeros are not considered as MSD because even though they have values, they cannot be taken because they never be MSD because they are zeros. Okay, right. Let me take one in the example. So this is going to be zero point zero one zero. Okay, one zero. Zero point zero one zero. So let's identify the LSD first. So now you have enough 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 explanation, enough uh, experiences, right? So using these experiences, you can easily find out it. Tell me which is LSD. Right, right extreme. This cannot be a list because that is zero. So what is it? It is one. This is least significant digit. What about MSD? Check the right extreme, uh, left extreme digit. That zero, right? Zero never be MSD. So go to the next digit. That is also zero. So never be MSD. And check the other digit. Yes, that is not zero. That has a value. So that must be MSD. So in this number, you have a single digit which can be taken as LSD. At the same time, this this is MSD. This, look here, this one LSD, and also the same same one can be taken as MSD. This is possible because when you other digits are not satisfied uh, to 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 be uh, to be uh, to become as LSD and MSD, definitely you have to go with that particular. Uh, I mean uh, accepted uh, digit right so here this one beca becomes eligible for being LSD as well as MSD right so here both are ones okay so this kind of an idea is possible for even all the numbers even if I take a binary digit right one one zero right point one one zero right so here, look here. These are binary digits, right? So this is MSD because that has value. But when we want to find out the LSD, look here. This zero doesn't have a value. So let's check the previous one. Then this is going to be LSD. So remember this point. This is important. LSD MSD is for all the number systems. Most of the examples which I have taken belong to 
decimal number system but that doesn't mean that it, these two words are no, only for decimal number system right even these are for binary octal hexadecimal but since we are familiar with decimal number systems i have taken so many decimal number systems or decimal numbers as examples okay so today we have taken a simple area uh, and also at the same time it's a very short area identifying figures identifying digits in a number even though there are so many digits in a number two of them get special names one gets the name as most significant digit because that is in the left side because whenever there is a digit in the left side it has more value i i explained that using abacus the other digit gets the special name called lst least significant digit because that is placed on the right far most end the digit which is on the right far most end always has less value right uh, even that also explained in abacus right so at the end of the lesson you are able to identify lsds and msds for any given number right it may be a whole number and it may be a number like this right so hereafter we have to take another two names called most significant bits and least significant bits bits so which is msb bits are bits and lsb least significant bits today we talked about digits most significant digit and least significant digit hereafter we have to talk about bits right lsb the the name seems to be same but look here the last digit uh, makes the different so we have to take those two digits of course they are too simple because if you are able to understand the today's things understanding these two words is very very simple right so with this we conclude uh, today's lesson try practicing right there may be so many examples given in the book follow those examples even you may write your number right you may take some numbers randomly try to write some of the whole numbers and some of the uh, numbers with the decimal point and more importantly try to write the numbers from all the number systems right and identify the lsd and msd then only it will be stuck in your mind right so that's it for today we will meet with another video right so thank you for watching